Well, today would be day 22 of my juice fast, but a few things happened along the way. So, I am actually on day 5 of a water fast, and I'm on water only. And, um, so I feel pretty good, yeah. But anyway, so let me tell you how this all took place. So I kind of cheated in my fast on day 13 and 14. And I blew it a little bit, so let's talk about that. Because I'm honest, man. This this channel I created, oh man, I don't have the paper here with me. It's in the house. But um, this this channel I created, this channel, this is my Road to Wellville and I want people to know, you know, I'm real, man. I ain't faking nothing. I'm not trying to pretend to be somebody I'm not. And um, I like to be truthful as much as possible. <laughs> I mean, always. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to be truthful and tell you what I do, man. When I cheat, I, I cheat. And when I screw up, I screwed up. And why? Why it happens to me? <laughs> so, anyways, um... I was on day 13, I was doing really good, I was on 100% juices, fruit juice, only fruit, that's all I'm doing. Actually on day one I accidentally put some carrots because I was making my mom juice with uh, carrot, apple, and celery, and, or something like that, and um, so I ended up tasting it, and so I had a little bit of carrots, but um, I'm just trying to do straight fruit. But, I mean, I don't care if I have, eat a vegetable here and there. I never swore that I was doing 100% fruit on this anyways, you know, from... I did swear on this, though, that I was going to juice until Christmas. And so that would have been 58 days when I was going to break it. But, um, I wanted to go 60 days, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, yeah, so, backtracking and sidestepping, that's my specialty. So, I mean, I don't want to... I mean, but, here's the thing, like... I've explained this before. Detox is like um, a tsunami because uh, you know how the tsunami comes in in waves and each wave comes in and it's less and less and to the point to where there's no more waves but you know when it hits you first it's hard and it knocks you down and you get back up but see when it hits you, it's is the cooked food cravings, and you can't say no, and um, <clears throat> so you end up cracking, and you end up eating whatever it is that you know finally gets you to crack. So, um, excuse me, detox, baby. But um, yeah, hey, this is good water. Avian water. I will um, put a good word in for this bottled water. I found it because they have a lot of alkaline water out there and you don't want to buy it when it's saying like 9.5 pH. That's crazy. That's too, you know, it's too alkaline. So you don't want to go too alkaline either. So this one here though is 7.2 pH, which I'm impressed with the everything it says on here. Natural electrolyte, 7.2, carbon neutral, made by the French Alps. Yeah, and it tells you some more good stuff on the back here about it. How would that, that say? How would it say? Who cares, right? <laughs> Anyways, it's good. I like it. So I was drinking distilled water because I like to do distilled water when I water fast because I, I want to be able to pull out the heavy metals and crap. So I did distilled water the first two days and I wasn't feeling hydrated, I was feeling dehydrated. And also I could taste was the plastic bottle because I have to buy it in a gallon plastic crappy jugs and it was it was just not vibing and it was just as bad as Arrowhead or or Crystal Guys or any of those bottled waters that make me nauseous when I drink it. But this one has not done that to me so I'm impressed I bought this it was a six pack of these and they're 33.8 ounces so um, a six packs of these was like $11 so I was like 
Man, I look at it initially, I was like, $11 for a six-pack of water? Nope. And I'm like, 7.2 pH? Yep. Getting in my shopping cart. <laughs> Excuse me for drinking. But, oh, man. I mean, I can go hours, like, dry fasting while I'm doing the water fasting and no desire to drink water. But all of a sudden, now I just want to drink that water. It's calling me. So, yeah. I've been drinking um, more water, drinking this water for some reason than I would on the other water because I guess this water is better. That's all there is to it. It's better water. I'm impressed. I'm seriously impressed. The best bottled water I've had. So, um, <coughs> uh, what I wanted to talk about was how I backtracked and sidestepped. Yeah, that's what I was talking about was how I was, uh, I made it, so I was doing fruit juices every day. I was doing basically mono fruit juicing. Uh, I was doing like just straight apple juice or just straight pineapple juice or straight strawberry juice, a grape juice. Oh man, it was all so good. And then, um, day 13, I was juicing. I was doing good. I don't know what happened, but <clears throat> excuse me, before that, actually, I think it was, like, somewhere around day 11 or 10, or I don't remember, but it was, like, a couple days before that, maybe, and I had to take a ride to Kingman, Arizona, and every time I go there, it's torture because it's restaurant capital of the world. Man, they got restaurants, restaurant after restaurant, every single type of food you could possibly want, and everything I want. <laughs> And all the junk that I used to eat, I mean, none of it tempts me anymore, but some of it does. Taco Bell, I gotta say, I don't know. There's a lot of, they all tempt me. God damn it. But <laughs> I won't eat it no more. I'm done. I'm done with the cook, cook food. But, uh, you know, I say that, and then, like, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about, you know, some things that I do like. And I, I love french fries, man. I need to stop. But I don't ever want to eat cooked food again, especially french fries, man. They mess me up so freaking bad. Oh, my God. So, anyways. Ugh. Hate food. I really hate food. I really do. So, I made it 13 days. I was doing really good. And mono fruit juicing. And uh, a lot of days I was doing uh, mono days. So, it will be like just one day of apple juice and one day of uh, grape juice, whatever, so, um, it was working out wonderfully, day 13 came along, well, anyways, I was saying, a few days before that, I was in Kingman, and, um, um, something hit me, the smell of shredded lettuce, like, oh my god, I was in the shop in, park, in the parking lot, I think it was a Del Taco, I mean, a Taco Bell, or one of those, and, um, like, the smell of shredded lettuce hit me, and it was just, that's it, that's all it took, and I was just bonkers, man, oh my god, I wanted a taco so bad, I was going out of my mind, and, um, I was like, no, man, I'm not breaking the fast, going till Christmas, and, and that's mentally challenging, you know, really mentally challenging, when you want something so bad, and you have to tell yourself no, and you know you could go eat it. Nobody else would know about it. Like right now, I don't have to tell anybody about any of this. I want to be honest because I want people to know, like, hey, man, this happened to you. That's completely normal. Look what, look what happened to me. So, yeah, the shredded lettuce odor really messed me up. And so a couple of days later, I had to go back to Kingman. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No. So, here I was all alone in the beautiful restaurant capital of the world, and I had to go to um, a class, take a test, and, uh, and so after the fact, my mom was taking a nap, you know, and so she was in Bullhead City and taking a nap, and so, man, the phone's not going to ring, I'm all by myself. I have a pocket full of money, and I have this craving for shredded lettuce, and I think I want to go get some taco. So, yes, yeah, so, um, what did I do? Um, I didn't eat in Kingman. I went home, and 
Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Back up. Okay, so the first time I went to Kingman, the smell of the stretch lettuce got me. I went home. I think that was on... No, okay, so that was like day 12, I think. And so I, I went home. I didn't crack until the next day. Okay, so day 13, I ended up... Uh, the smell of that shredded lettuce just got to me so bad that I ended up, I was like, that's okay, I'm going to eat at home. I'm going to cheat, but I'm going to eat at home. And that's the key, man. If you're going to cheat, eat at home, man. Don't eat that junk food. I mean, not that it's so junky, but people are really gross in these restaurants. They're so dirty. And, man, I did restaurant management all my life, and I'm telling you, they're pigs. And the managers are pigs, so the employees aren't possibly learning properly. And if anybody wants to argue about this with me, please do, because I'm a professional and I um, have way further knowledge than anybody. And I'm like a Chef Ramsay, female Chef Ramsay, man. <laughs> exactly the same. People don't like me. But I'm cool. But I'm right, man. I'm right. And just like he's right. But the only difference is I didn't use the F word when I, when I yelled at my employees. I didn't yell. I was cool. But anyways, um... So day 13 happened. I ended up making my own um, stuff. I went to the store and I bought um, lettuce. <laughs> so I made my shredded lettuce and I ended up eating two cooked taco shells. And um, so that's what screwed me up, eating just two taco shells. And then I ended up eating... Um, all right, so day 13, I ate two taco shells, and I ate some, everything else was raw. Avocados and um, shredded lettuce and tomatoes and whatever. Probably some jalapenos and crap. <laughs> Cilantro. <laughs> but, okay, so I had all that, but it was all raw. And then um, <laughs> the next day, I cheated again, but it got worse. This was the time I was in Kingman. I had to go back for that test. That's what it was. So, okay, so the first time I was in there in Kingman, I was doing something else. And then this time I had to go back for the test. And um, so uh, um, after the test, yeah, that was when my mom was taking a nap and I was all alone. Channel brown chicken brown brown with Taco Bell. <laughs> so I ended up going there and, and I did. I cheated, man. I cheated. Uh, I ate, what the hell did I eat? I bought, um, what do you call it? Taco. And, no, uh, oh man. Uh, chalupa, <laughs> yummy. Uh, I got it with avocado and uh, black beans and lettuce, tomato, and onion. And it was freaking delicious. And, um, oh man, I'm so horrible, but I'm telling the truth, man, this is what I did. I was all alone, and I was like, man, I'm going to get away with it, and I was like, I know I didn't want to do it. I mean, come on, man, I don't want to do that. I don't. I don't ever want to cheat, but, oh man, I don't care. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and I'm, mm, I wish I could enjoy it right now. Oh, what time is it? <laughs> so I go, I ate that. And it was delicious, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. And I also got a burrito, and I ate part of that. And I'm not proud of myself, but I'm proud of myself for spilling my guts because I want to be honest. Oh, mother is calling. <laughs> not now, mother. I'm spilling my guts. But anyway, so uh, day 15, I got back on track. And what was I doing? back on the fruit juices and then a couple days and then where did I go back onto the water on day 18 wait 19, 20, 20. wait mom I'm making a video um, so today would be day 22 so that was day 5 of water so 21 20 19, 18 yeah so day 18 I think it was anyways Monday and today's Friday now so, anyways, I gotta end the video because mom needs me. But, so I'm on day five and I'm feeling alive. Day three was a nightmare. I had the worst migraine ever. Uh, that wasn't really that bad, actually. I'm lying. That was actually the best day three I've ever had because I stayed in bed the whole time. And I was like, that's it, man. I'm taking this personal. I'm taking my health journey for real. I'm not letting anybody break me today. I'm not breaking my fast. I'm going to keep going. I need to go. 
I'm making day five. That's what my plan was to go to day five. So, um, and I figured, like, if I make it day five, maybe I could do day 40 because, I mean, what's the difference between drinking water and juice? And I just want to have 40-day water fast on my resume. And um, pretty much that's all the only reason why I want to do it. Or I, I don't know why I really want to do it. Because, because they say Jesus did it. Would I want to do that? No. Because, um, like, all these great philosophers did it. No, it's not because of that. It's because... I guess we're all being called for it, the ones who are called for 40 day water fast. And I feel like I've been called for it for many years. I've wanted to do it. And I've never been able to do it because it was just too hard. So the longest I ever made on water was 12 days. And I've did so many long ones, like uh, nine days, seven days, several seven days. And, um, <clears throat> you know, and every time you do it, you heal a little bit. And you do a little more anti-aging. And, I mean, there's just so much, you know. Um, like, supposedly after 24 hours, all your cells clean themselves. We have 100 trillion cells, and they all get cleaned. Like, So that's pretty cool. And then after 72 hours, you all your organs begin to repair themselves. And after... Uh, 14 days, all your blood cells completely replace themselves with brand new cells. And then by six weeks, you have total regeneration, rejuvenation. So um, these, this is what I read in books and, um, and what I've believed until I really understand the lymph system. And you, everybody's got different time frames. Nobody's just gonna, everybody's going to be six weeks to total regeneration. I mean, that's rare. It must be pretty clean to begin with to be totally regenerated in six weeks. But that was in that book, Body Pollution. And um, I really enjoyed that. But I do believe after 24 hours, your cells start cleaning themselves. Yes, I believe your body starts uh, cleaning. and you know. But the regenerating organs after 72 hours... That I kind of find it hard to believe because I believe uh, you have to clean your whole body out before you start regenerating, and it takes a lot longer than 72 hours to clean out your lymphatic system because first you got to get your kidneys filtering, and it's going to take way longer than three days to get your kidneys filtering. And um, like I said, rare cases, sure. You know, some people kidneys are filtering already, so maybe in three days. Um, no, still don't see it, but anyways. Um... And for them to say in 14 days that all your blood cells replace, I don't know how they determine that. So, you know, so some of those uh, can you seem a little fishy to me, but those things are the things that kept me going when I was doing fasting before. I was like, I have to get to 72 hours. I have to get to 14 days. Um, and also that's with, with uh, fruits and vegetable juicing, you know, and they were talk about, um, what was I going to say? Um, after you hit, uh, when you get to the 14 days when all your blood cells replace themselves that you want to be on vegetable juices because vegetables are strengtheners and they'll, they'll give you stronger cells because when you get all new cells on day 14 that um, then you'll have stronger cells if you're doing the vegetables so I was like hmm and I kind of believe that to be true vegetables and herbs maybe um, I don't know, I wouldn't discount the fruit though, because I mean, when you see the fruit and how it, you know, that's the fruit for, the food for us, for one, and that's the food with the highest energy and highest water content, so, um, and that's where regeneration takes place on the fruit, so I would just prefer to stay on 100% fruit on day 14 as well, and just keep going on fruit, you know, no desire to to dip into vegetables, I mean, I understand it way too, too well to, to believe that, so, I mean, although they all sound pretty good, but I do know that after 24 hours, your body starts to, uh, forgive you, it starts to detox, yes, so that's true, it does start to cleanse itself, and our body is made of cells, and nothing but cells, so yes, obviously, the cells are going to start to clean themselves, but where is it going? So that's the problem right there. Is people need to do is get the kidneys filtering before you start fasting. Because if it's going, it's going nowhere. It can't get out through the kidneys because they're blocked. So you don't want to do the fasting until they're, they're 
filtering. And that's why you do mono fruit fasting. Because mono fruit fasting is how you get the kidneys filtering the fastest. The high water content fruits break up that mucus that's hardening on those kidneys and adrenals. Break up that mucus with the high water content fruits and lemons and coconut waters and herbs and, you know, do it like that. And then break up that hardened mucus and get those kidneys filtering again. And, you know, like take like an oil filter, a clogged up oil filter in your car. And it's all blocked up with oil, and it's not going to run right. You know that. If you just take that filter and clean it, and then it's going to start working properly again. But, um, you know, or take like a strainer, kitchen strainer. And, you know, like one of those little handheld ones, the little strainer. And then strain um, flour and water through it. And let that sit overnight. And then the next day you're going to see it's all coated so the strainer is going to have like no holes to um to let out anything that you put in there now because it's all blocked up with that hardened stuff and so that's what it's at. that's what it's like when we eat in foods that produce mucus it's hardened all over our kidneys there's no holes for it to filter out the the waste it can't come out those holes <coughs> so eating high water content fruit will dissolve the dissolve up that hardened stuff on there and it'll start breaking it loose and then there'll, there'll be holes available to filter out that waste so once that waste starts coming out then you can do your fasting but you know you want to let a lot of that waste out first because it's going to be gushing out in the beginning once you really start getting those holes open you know those filters you got to figure it's like it's got all these little holes like a strainer and and they're blocked up and we got to get them open so we can get that waste to, to be able to come through but um, it's work, man. We got so much hardened mucus on our kidneys. And it's a lot of work. And the adrenals, too. So, you know, so we have work to do. But anyways, I'm cutting this video off. That's all I got to say for now. Dun, dun, dun. No more cheating. For real, I'm not. No more cheating, man. I don't know where I'm going after today, but we'll see.